Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to study and review EMT, specifically airway, respiration, and ventilation. I've already taken the practical state exam, practical, I can't remember the one where it's like hands on, and I have finished the course. Now I'm just studying for the written exam that everybody has to take. So right now I'm gonna focus before, I took a lot of notes, but they're all kind of like messy and all over the place. So now I'm going to like put it all together, starting with airway, respiration, and ventilation. So I'm going to take my notes on my iPad right now. And then after, when I'm done with the notes, I am going to, then I'm going to go online and I'm going to do some practice questions with you. I have not seen them whatsoever. I'm just going to read them out loud and interpret them out loud to show you guys what I'm thinking whether it's wrong or right, just to give you guys some idea and to see like, oh, that's how she thinks or like, oh, she's wrong because she thought this way. Okay, so let's get started with airway, respiration, so to begin, I went on Google, typed in upper airway where it shows a good picture with notes and just divided them into upper and lower airway. And then you gotta also figure out and know the lobes of the right and left lung, knowing there are five lobes. One side has three, the other side has two, and make sure you know which one is which. And a good trick for you is getting a picture like this and just outlining the like, important parts and then coloring in. So your picture, which is your notes, looks more like readable and you can color it the way you want to in a way that's easier for you to understand your own picture because I really didn't like the colors of this one. Now I'm just going to grab an old picture of something I already drew before and put it into this one where it shows a more in-depth picture of the lungs and a close-up view of the alveoli, which remember that's the place where gas exchange occurs. There are some slight differences when it comes to child and adult airways and everything else. So remember, a child is really small and their tongue is huge compared to the rest of their body. So that's a huge thing for airway obstruction and a choking hazard when it comes to the rest of their body. Remember, if you need more time to read my notes, just pause the video and then continue when you're ready. I'm just organizing the notes and putting some vital signs before going on to the next page. Now let's talk about the airway itself. Remember, to open the airway, there are two ways, a head tilt chin lift and the jaw thrust, and they're both used at two different times, so make sure you know when to use what. Suctioning is extremely important to clear the airway. Remember, no more than 15 seconds for an adult and no more than 10 seconds for a child. When it comes to the oral and nasopharyngeal airway, the oral is preferred, but if they have a gag reflex, you're going to have to go with the nasal and make sure you lube it before you put it in or else it's going to bleed and cause even more of an obstruction. Oxygen is always a must. If they're unresponsive, BVM. 
if they're having trouble breathing, a normal breather. Honestly, normal breather is always the best for any situation, but there are other types too, of course, and you want to know the doses and the liters per minute. For the patient who have a stoma, make sure you know how it works, how to clean it, and how to apply oxygen if they need it. Respiratory problems are always an emergency, so you got to make sure you know what situations are what. COPD people usually have an oxygen tank around their house anyways, but it's always best to switch it to yours and apply the material that you brought. Just for someone who has asthma in their family, please take asthma extremely serious. A lot of people don't think it's a huge issue, but it is. So if someone says they have asthma and they can't breathe, please, please, please take it seriously. I'm just taking some of my old notes and everything that has to do with respiratory, breathing, lungs, and just putting it all on one page. So you see me erasing some of the other stuff and putting it together with other things. So that's what I'm doing right now. Reminder, you can get all these notes at the end of the video, so keep watching. Okay, after I am done with the notes, I am going to pick a random website. There's tons of free websites. In fact, I do pay for one because I can't remember the username. Actually, I can't even remember what the website it is. So, um, like I said, I took this class in the beginning of the year and right now it's almost November. That is something I regret is not staying on top of it. But it's fine now. 